Well, let's get to today's first rad human. She's a small business savior. Since the pandemic hit, many mom and pop shops have been put in peril. Neighborhood establishments that have been around for decades may soon have to close their doors for good, which is incredibly sad. Well, when a pub owner here in L.A. was facing the same fate, along with a slew of shops near her, she took action. She started posting fun videos that promoted all their businesses, like this one. Wow. I'm ready for my close-up. This is a Kim outfit, through and through, with a wedge. I'm all about black. I don't really do patterns. This is the most fabulous top. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love you so much. So the videos have been such a success. They've helped keep dozens of businesses open and propelled what they're now calling the Maiden community. So let's talk to the founder of this movement, Kim Maiden. What's up, Kim? Hi, Kelly. Hello. I love you so much. Like the fact that you were you. You in trouble and you didn't just think of yourself. It's such a, a beautiful thing. But th this started with you struggling to find a way to keep your pub open, right? Oh, my gosh, yes. Um, my family has owned the Pickwick's Pub for like 32 years. Oh. Totally family run. I pretty much have been raised in there since I was eight years old. So I can say I was raised in a bar. <laughs> my kids are raised in a bar now, too. But it's just a landmark of the Valley. Our pub has so much history. So many memories are created there. Um, a little fact, we actually have had Bruno Mars play there for like two years. Wow. So super exciting. And we filmed the office there. So we're actually Poor Richard's pub. So we get people from all over that come in just to kind of see where the office was filmed. Um, yeah. But I'll tell you, during COVID, it, it, it kind of hit us hard. We really weren't sure what we were going to do. So as a family, we kind of gathered and we are like, oh, my gosh, do we shut our doors? You know, we're known for our amazing homemade food, but we're not a takeout place. So I told my dad, I was like, listen, we're not shutting the doors. It's not going to happen. I went on Facebook and I was kind of crazy, but I was like doing these crazy live videos and I would tell people, please come support us. I would do like goals i'd say i have to sell a thousand burritos today you know and people just rallied they rallied around us um it really showed me that community want to see people succeed and i mean we're still open to this day so we made it through that it's so cool i mean the reason that it's so cool the community coming together because your community is disappearing because these businesses can't survive and i think it, i think it's a wonderful thing but the, the most wonderful thing is you didn't just post videos of, of just your pub you've been helping other businesses right I have, Kelly. Oh, my gosh. Well, I was kind of bombarded with how much people supported us, and it was such a good feeling. And I went down Ventura Boulevard, and I stopped at this first shop, and I met this, like, crazy, amazing owner. She was so kooky, and I walked in, and I'm like, listen, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try on your clothes, and then you could take a video, and I'm going to post it, and I'm going to see if I can get you business. And she was like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I think we're going to try this. And it worked, people came. And so I just kept going and I had called it the quarantine shop club and people did. Uh, you have such an amazing heart, Kim. It, it's really beautiful. I mean, I'm from a small town, so that's how small towns operate. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to live in such a huge city, but still feel like small town about it. Cause that, you know, everybody knows your name, everybody knows your kids. Like it, it's a really beautiful thing that you've started. So thank you so much for sharing, Kim.